Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Hey, y'all, what's going on? Yes, I'm not on the screen, but I had to hop in here real quick and, and share this. And thank you, Teresa, for sharing this with me. Um, this is a whole nother level of fuckery that we have not quite reached. Um, uh, yeah. So, as you can see by the title, by noun, and on the screen, man found with 21 severed vaginas in his freezer appears in court. Now, let me scroll up because I need you to see what the fuck. So, apparently, Peter, 63, Danish man, lives in South Africa, arrived in the docks ahead of his bail application. Okay? He didn't want for bail. But here, here's the key key, though. Apparently, his 20, he took his wife and she woke up and he had severed her motherfucking vagina. What the bitch? What? Ooh. Told the police he drugged her and cut off private parts of her anatomy while she was in, you know, she was just not cog cognitive or whatever. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. And, y'all, she was going to testify but was gunned down and killed while leaving her house last month. They they said that they believe that most of, uh, well, that's the area they was in. Y all, y all. I, I, but, bitch, you get, well, I'm going to get somebody to explain to me. Now, y'all know I got this link below because I came 21 mutilated vaginas were alleged found in, allegedly found in his home. Bitch, was they in there? Was they not? Now, I want somebody to tell me that this is a motherfucking satire site, please. I really want somebody to tell me that because if this is a home, oh, bitch, what was you going to do with them? Motherfucker, you running around taking people's vaginas and shit? Oof. Oh, yeah, I can't. I, I just, what? So his house, his apartment, first of all, how in the hell was the woman, was this woman able to stay in there with motherfucking tw uh, 21 mutilated vaginas, dead pussies? <sighs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Just go to the refrigerator and get some chicken, and I'm going to fry some chicken up today, baby. You want some beans with it? You know, shift a few freezer bags over, and boom, that's 21 motherfucking pussies. I'm... Uh, Oh, Jesus, please take the well plate. Please, please. Y'all just cannot, and I just will not. I, I won't be able to take this in no capacity. This motherfucker with vagina. But, what the fuck was he doing with the pussies, y'all? What was he doing? What the fuck kind of sick bastard would cut shit off a motherfucker? That's a demon, son of a bitch. He's just a devil. Just a demon. You funk at bastard. Ain't nowhere in the world. I'm looking at these women in the back. I'd have been in that motherfucker in contempt of, in contempt of court. Honey, I'd have been I wish you would come and try to take this pussy anywhere. Shit. Oh, mm-mm. Now, y'all, I didn't do the disclaimer, but the motherfucking title should have said it. No kids should be watching this shit. And this is not appropriate for your job. Get your headphones in. But I... I can't stop going... The fuck? Oh, Lord, y'all. I got another story I'm going to talk about, but I need to get some more information on. It's very sad. It was a fight that went on in... Um, well... Um, in Texas, it was in Houston, end up with a team being ran up. I can't, y'all, I can't look at that. See, I'm trying to see if I can look at this video. I can't look at that. That just, so I'm trying to get some more information. So be looking for that story to come. Now, since I'm on here and I just ain't going to let it be. Oh, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Um, I just ain't going to let it be just about that. So let's scroll down. Let's get into Miss Vivica Fox for a minute. And as you can see, my loves have chimed in on this bullshit. Now, Vivica, last night on Watch What Happens Live, she busted right open on 50 Cent's ass and said that she believed you basically she was throwing him out of the closet and said that uh, magazine picture 
that she felt like he was, you know, he was gay. She was doing, she was alluding to that. And then, what did she say? He was a booty snatcher or a booty something. She basically went ham through Soldier Boy and that shit. Here's my whole thing. Y'all know I like Vivica, but Vivica, girl, um, and this is what Soldier Boy wanted. He wrote, he put a motherfucking 800 number on her and just basically said, oh, thirst ass, cougar ass, you know. I'm, Vivica, girl, you did not have to reach for this. And I don't get it. I don't get why she went that far all over season two or whatever of The Apprentice. So I guess you was feeling butthurt, kind of, because you, you know, I, I just, I don't get why you grasping. Are you doing this in hopes of something from Trump? I don't know. But one thing I will say, girl, you brought this shit on yourself, but I will say this. 50 Cent does read like a motherfucking queen. That's all I'm going to say. I don't feel like she should have did that. And then not only your issue was with 50 Cent, you threw Soldier Boy in there, which ain't no motherfucking secret that I've always felt like it was a little something. So, Lord, I ain't even going to talk. Y'all watch your kids taking this motherfucking synthetic ass marathon, marathon, marijuana, K2 spice, and this child, wait a minute. Lord, bless her heart, Jesus. Oh, y'all, let's just go away from that. Um, Let's go away from that. I need to find this picture, honey. Where is it? Oh, this bitch. This Chicago bitch. And I guess we just kind of scrolling down the Much Love page. And if you're not on it, it's Much Love from Nina on Facebook. I, you, I always have the link in the info box along with Cincy. So... This bit, that's a whole nother video within this. Y'all, is this not cute? That is the gingerbread collectible Scentsy. Um, let me go up here, honey, and let me, let me get this one picture because I, I need, I don't know why that's on there twice. Let me get into these comments because without fail, my loves are always going to, didn't I click on this shit already? Wait a minute, 50 Cent let her motherfucking ass have it. Let's click on this. Uh, he's just, he just went ham. He's going to drag her for dust. He's going to drag for dust. He reads like, you know, anybody's queen, honey. Where is this motherfucking picture at? I did have this one picture y'all thought was on here. Maybe they snatched the motherfucker down. Who knows? Um, wait a minute. <laughs> Chris Smith said, who is this old fashioned thought? <laughs> Okay, I love my loves. I just love them. I thought I had another picture, y'all came, but she reached for his ass, and he been dragging her ass ever since he drug her scalp from one end of the internet to the other end. And I just, she was, you know, she. I'm sure she was very fucking confident in what she said, and I guess she thought she had enough read in her in her. To get him together, but child, he didn't. Vivica, girl, I love you to pieces, honey. But baby, you didn't have to do that. You could have kept that shit to yourself. How long ago? How long has it been since you and him was together? And then Fifty Cent, let me get you together, cause you clearly wrote on uh, one of the little memes that I had where you was talking about her. Let me make sure I get this shit. I do believe it's this one where you was talking about her. You know, licking your... Because I let her lick my ass. You know. Now, I I guess to each his motherfucking own. It ain't a motherfucker on this earth that I would ever want to lick their ass here. The thought of it just makes me sick. But to each his own. Everybody has their own get down. And I ain't going to shade nobody. I'm talking about me and what I'm not willing to do. Uh, you know, and I would feel some kind of motherfucking way. Please know this. If my husband said, baby, lick my motherfucker, please. Child, I be getting, uh -uh -uh. but that was a little extra to me. I mean, not extra, but it kind of, you know, I don't know. You know, and some people are on the fence like that was some gay shit that you put out when you said that. But with that said, it is some couples that practice that shit. It's the same as you blow me, I'm going to blow you. You know what I mean? So a lot of people feel like it's no different. And again, you know, what people practice in their private 
privacy of their home and in that bedroom, they have every right to it. But I can officially say that I ain't the bitch that's for that. But I'm not the bitch that, you know, them, you know, whatever's clever. It just ain't for me. But a lot of people are saying him saying that, that that kind of says that he might be a little bit, you know, gay. And so my question is this. Um, and this is from, you know, my, my females, you know, dating. Uh, if your a husband or boyfriend or whatever asks you to lick his ass. <laughs> I feel weird asking it. But, but, but what would you say? And in return, would you feel like, why in the hell would you think, you know, would you be questioning him if he did that? Not just on the question of why the fuck would you ever ask me to lick your ass? But... The question of, hmm, what else you like done? You know, um, with that said, I have to ask men, like, you know, but then I know maybe I shouldn't because I know a lot of people are open-minded. And again, if that's something that a couple does, you know, between them, then, hey, it's really, you know, none of nobody's business. But the argument, like, in some of the forms I've been to has been like, what the fuck? You know, man, I like, I ain't never thought about a bitch licking my ass. And this one comment I said, I saw this motherfucking man said that bitch can lick from the head to the shaft to the bottom of the nuts. But if that bitch go beyond that, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> I'm just curious to know, would you, I mean, well, maybe that's too much. I mean, it is your private business. So I don't know if men would be willing to say, you know, how they feel about that or if they would ever, you know, do some shit like that. You know, I'll let, I'll, I'll, you know, do that. Um, uh, but again, I think, you know, people should be a little bit more open-minded. Now, like I said, that's just something I'm not willing to do. And I love my husband to pieces. Y'all know I'm a fucking germaphobe and the thought of it makes me gag. But, I don't down anybody who does, you know, if that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got some bitches who, you know, bitches who swallow. So, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess one, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not for anybody to judge somebody else. But with that said, I think these things are very private and should be private between the couple. Like, this whole after the relationship breaks up, fuck shaming. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't cool. And I'm sure she feels some kind of way. But bitch has been doing this forever. His love, whatever. He had a love dick. He couldn't last. And this and that other bitch. You was with him for nine years. Now come two years later, his dick lit him. He couldn't last. Bitch, please. What is that telling me, bitch, about you? Is that, you know what I'm saying? If it really was a problem, that bitch, you willing to, you settle for any motherfucking thing or whatever. Bitch, please, that don't make you no bigger or whatever. Fuck shaming after the relationship is over, you know, and vice versa for men who would do it. But I hear a lot of women that do that and that shit ain't cool. Because, bitch, if you think that makes you look good and on either side, it does not. Especially when you was in a long-term relationship with a motherfucker. And, bitch, you knew the uh, after the first fuck what he was dealing with. Like, I'm just saying, you know, on either side, that shit ain't cool. I've always felt that way. You know. But just, y'all, just answer the damn question. I really want to share that motherfucking story with y'all. Uh, it's on the Much Love page. And I will put a link below here. So y'all can go check that out. <clears throat> um, let me also say, because I have to say this, congratulations to one of my loves. She sells Cincy under me and she had a very successful party. And I just want to say congratulations, Miss Vanessa, baby. Keep it going. And I'm so glad to have you on my team. And I'm glad to have every, whoever's on my team. I'm glad to have you. But I just really wanted to say congratulations to you. Um, I've talked to you, but I, you know, I'm very proud of you. And just wanted to say that. With that said, y'all, didn't want to come in here with no gloom and doom. But my mother um, is uh, back in the hospital. So please say a prayer for her and um, keep praying. So, you know. I want to, you know, keep it going and, you know, she they think she may have some pneumonia. So, just keep praying, y'all. But I'm going to leave the links and shit below and get back in here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to call this the nonstop November because I do feel I, I need to come back in here and talk about Black Ink Chicago. Is that today? I think it's today. And read the shit out of Booty Me because she felt some kind of way. 
So I'm gonna have to get her together. So I'll be back in, y'all. I just wanted to share this with y'all. For those of you all who don't like an off-screen video, you know, just walk away from the screen, honey, and just listen. You know, I just wanted to come in real quick and share this. So I'm out of here, y'all. Remember to follow me on Facebook. Much love from Nina. Same thing on Twitter. Um, same thing on Periscope, Instagram. You know, if you're not already following me on Periscope, follow me on Periscope. I do have a damn... What is that? Chitter twat or chat Twitter or what what the fuck is that? Snapchat or what? I, I don't get that bullshit. But you know, follow me on uh Periscope, Facebook, Twitter, you know. Um, and I will if I'm I'm gonna have to put my link over here for Blab because I love me some Blab. Um, you know, so just follow me. You know, if you have a help a sister or whatever out, much love from KY at iCloud.com. Um and don't forget about that sensi, y'all. And let me just say this real quick. Um, you actually can get a nightlight warmer and a sensi bar for $20. So email me and ask me how. And I will send it to you and let you know. So y'all, I'm out of here. Much love.